I know you guys love a good rack as much as I do. Today I'm excited to share with you guys the installation of my rear behind the seat Molly rack. Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel, everybody. I hope you are having a fantastic Friday and I hope you have fun things planned for your Tacoma this weekend. So I purchased this Molly rack a few months ago on a group buy through Tacoma World, which I will link to below. They are sort of ongoing group buys where one closes and then another one opens, like so they're numbered one through 20 or whatever. So if you are interested in picking up the same Molly rack, you can go ahead and check that out. There are tons of configurations also. If you have an access cab, double cab, if you have a electronic sliding rear window, if you have a subwoofer, you can get, I believe, just flat panels. So there's no Molly integration at all. So check out the link below. Like I said, tons of different configurations. Now I will of course be painting mine and doing a few other things to it, but I did just want to go ahead and show you guys what the panel looks like unfinished in the raw aluminum. It is installed with all the bolts. I even got my little first aid pack on there just because I was so excited to get this thing back here because I've been riding around without any back seats and nothing back here for what seems like forever, probably just a few months, but good things are coming now that I have this back here. So that's what it looks like. You could of course certainly leave it just the raw aluminum it looks great it's got the nice sort of texture there i don't know if that's going to come up on camera but you can see that i'm going to paint mine black sort of this flat black like i have up here on my miso jdm molly rack i might throw some of the orange accents on there nothing crazy because i do plan on getting this thing loaded up in no time but there's a quick walk around showing you what it looks like always good to do a dry fit if you will on stuff like this just to make sure all the holes line up and it's going to install without any issues that way if uh, something didn't work out and I had to, I don't know, modify it, no sense painting it and then doing all that stuff. Now just to get it painted and a few other things before it's fully installed. And here's the finished product after a few coats of the self etching primer and a flat black top coating here. You can see I did add just one of those little lines with the orange to match the truck a little bit like I did with my overhead molly rack up there. Nothing too crazy, kept this one a little more conservative, especially since Obviously the bottom of this is going to be covered up with stuff in no time. So that is what the finished product looks like. But before we actually get to the install, one more thing to do. Now here's what the behind the seat portion of my truck currently looks like. I do have that Noiko sound editing material on here. This stuff is, even though it is black, it is pretty reflective. So what I decided to do, I got this piece of foam off Amazon. I will of course link below if any of you guys are interested in doing something similar. The addition of this is going to have two effects. First, it's going to dim the uh, the reflectiveness of this, so it's not like shining through being annoying once I have the molly rack on there and looking sort of weird. Plus, the quarter inch foam should add just a little more sound barrier, make the inside of my truck just a little more bearable since I will not be reinstalling my rear seats. To cut this, all I did, I just flipped the molly rack over. I used blue tape to tape this onto it and sort of cut around for the perimeter. Then you can see I went ahead and marked and cut where all the holes are where the bolts will go to install the molly rack. I will just be using some of the 3M or Gorilla double sided tape. I'm just going to put some because you can see from the side there's like sort of sunken valleys for this back panel. I'll sort of just put a few small like maybe one inch pieces along this top part that sticks out and along the middle just to hold this foam in place while I install the molly rack. And here's my foam backing. You can see I did forget to cut out these three large center squares that are for the seat back hooks but once I cut those out I'm actually using that to rest the foam on so it doesn't fall off because the double sided tape did not work at all. So I'm going to go get a little pick so I can sort of make sure all the holes are lined up so when I position the rack on this to screw it down everything should line up okay. And there is the painted rack just wanted to show you the final fitment you can see right over here nice and tight on both sides. I have seen people post on Tacoma World, if you are reusing these seat brackets right here, they go one right here and the other right over there. These are the parts that actually catch the folding part of your seat when you slam it backwards. Since I am not reinstalling my seats, I am not going to go ahead and reinstall those. But if you are using these, I heard you might need to get longer bolts than what is supplied, maybe like another extra 10 millimeters. So just keep that in mind. But since I'm not reinstalling those, don't got to worry about it. Now I did go ahead and get longer hardware. I still have all the stuff that I took off the truck. But just in case I got some M6, one by 25 millimeter and one by 30 millimeter. I got some larger washers because the flange part on these, it looks like it'll overlap on one side but not the other. So to avoid scratching the finish on this, 
Got some larger washers for that. And to protect everything, I got some quarter inch neoprene washers just to give it sort of a pad from behind there. So I will play around and see which bolt fits and let you guys know in just a second. And for the top, I'm using the M8 1.25 by 30 millimeters. All right, everybody, and there is the finished product. Hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. I know it's been an eyesore for the past few months, having the back of my seat exposed like that with just that Noiko sound deadening material. So we are definitely moving a step in the right direction of this. Let me get another close up with the foam so you can see everything. And just for a quick comparison, here is what it looks like without the foam installed. So there's the finished product. Now I just need to get this thing loaded up. So go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think of the rack, first of all. But also go ahead and give me some ideas for things to get mounted on here. I have a few things like a new fire extinguisher. I do have the one I already have mounted out here, but I'm going to just have a dedicated internal one. I would guess probably right over here. So please go ahead and comment below. Give me some ideas of things I need to get to get this beautiful rack loaded up. All right, everybody, that will do it for this video. I hope you have great things planned for your truck this weekend. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the rack. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.